It's almost exactly a year ago that we released the new design images for the Barclays Arena. And some of you were here then and joined us to take a look at the model and the drawings. Since then, we've been working very hard on all aspects of the project, including the actual construction of the arena, which began last spring, and other parts. I'll give you a quick overview of where we are, and then I'll turn it over to Greg Pasquarelli of Shop Architects to walk you through the design presentation. After that, we'll take a few questions. <coughs> First, on the arena and other work underway. The Phase 1 Loyal Railroad work is complete, moving the Loyal Railroad yard to its new location. The yard work necessary to put the Carlton Avenue Bridge back in service will be starting this fall and will be complete in time for the arena opening. There are only two buildings standing on the arena block. Both of them are currently being demolished and we expect the site to be clear in November. Foundation work is progressing. Excavation is 75% complete. Foundation work is about 40% complete. We can see the arena shaping up with uh, the curved walls denoting the shape of the wall. There is currently steel being fabricated, and we will start to erect that steel later this fall. We have started work on the new transit entrance that will welcome everyone to the new Barclays Center. We expect that the Barclays Center will open at some point in the summer of 2012, with basketball games starting there that fall. A few points on construction process and employment. To date, we have awarded $52.6 million in contracts for arena infrastructure, rail yard relocation, demolition, and mitigation. Of this, $21.8 million, or 41%, has been awarded to minority-owned firms, and 4.2%, or 8%, to women-owned firms. The infrastructure work, consisting of $13.9 million, was done entirely by MWPE firms. To date, we are exceeding our goals for minority and female hire. A full 47% of all work on the site to date has been done by minority and female construction workers. Next steps. We are working on B2, the first residential building on the arena block. We hope to announce the architect and the design of that building, which will include affordable housing, in early 2011. B1, the office building, will require an anchor tenant before we start construction, as we have said previously. In the interim, our goal is to create an amazing, beautiful place on the plaza. We're showing those designs tonight. An additional point on the timing of the project. Yesterday, we showed the design presentation that you will see here today to reporters so they can get the word out to the public. The possibility that the project might be delayed by economic conditions and be built over a longer period than 10 years. That being said, our city's plans for the build-out are as follows. We are currently working on moving forward with the three residential buildings on the arena block. We anticipate having the funding in place to start the first building at Dean and Flatbush in the spring of 2011. The second, six to nine months later, and the third, about the same time after that. And then we move on to phase two, the development of the project to the east of Sixth Avenue. Let me be clear, Forest City is a company with great determination and deep roots in Brooklyn. We are 100% committed to delivering the entire Atlantic Yards project and all of its benefits to the borough. The plaza. A few additional thoughts on the plaza, and then I'll turn it over to Greg. The project plan, which includes B1, the office building, calls for an enclosed urban room, which will be a public space, a transit entrance, and access to the arena. Since we will not be building B1 until we have a tenant, as explained, we look to turn this plaza, which is a unique pedestrian pocket created by the intersection of Flatbush and Atlantic Avenues, into a public space that can be used for a variety of different activities, a transit entrance, and still an arrival point for the arena. We're very excited about the programming opportunities for this space, and as you'll see from Greg's presentation, we're looking at the possibility of a farmer's market, movie nights, and other events and festivities. I think that you'll find shops work interesting from a design standpoint. It complements the great work that they've already done on the arena, and it incorporates international influences throughout many different design directions. And with that, I will let Greg explain. Thank you for your time. 